So let's start today for our third lesson in chapter 13, which is radian angles, our radian measure. What is the radian measure? In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use the radian measure for angles and how to find the length of an arc of a circle as we take on geometry. Now, let's start with the radian. What is the radian? We know the degree. We can say that this is 45 degree, but what is the radian? A radian is a measure for the angles. So the, if I want to measure any angle, or if I want to represent the angle, I can say 45 or by over 4. So here we have two ways to represent the measure of the angles, by the degree or by the radian. When we use the degree and when we use the radian, let's see here. Now, we know the two dimensional shapes. The two dimensional shapes, we can classify them in two ways. We can classify them as Anna, shapes with curve that have a curve sides, or if they have a um, linear or can say like uh, straight lines or straight sides. For the straight sides, such as a square, such as our we can say rectangle square, triangle, and other polygons, and so on. And the curve, like a circle. If you want now to represent an angle in the straight sides, such as triangle, rectangle, or square, you have to use the degree. You can say it's 90 degree or 60 degree. So the degrees can use it here in the straight sides, which can say it's 90 degree or 45 degree or 60 degree and so on. But on the circles, you have two ways to represent the angles. You can say that the angle between two, between the radius here or the central angle for this point, for the circle here, you can say it is 60 degree or there's another way which we can say it is by over a three. So to represent the angle, to say about the amount of rotation for the triangle, you have to say it in degrees. But to talk about the angles in circle, you have to use either degree or radian. So it's a radian, it's like the degree. It's a way, a unit of measure. You can say it is 60 degree or by over three radian. When you are lower grade, we can say it's 60 degree, but in higher grade or in university, you have to use it as a radian. So this is the meaning of radian. It is an unit for the measurement of angles. Is it clear? Yeah, yes. teacher, the last one was about degrees, right? Which one? The, the last, this one. Yes, this is for degrees. Now, from now, we are going to use the radian. We are going also to find the sign for the radian's angle. So let's see now today, how can we convert a degree to a radian or a radian to a degree? Now, but before I learn how it is the, or how to convert them, let's see what is the radian. The radian is a major for a central angle as we talk in geometry. The central angle is at an angle at the center of the circle. This angle, we called it central angle. The measure of the central angle, we represent it in radian. And we forget, we, as we know before, the intercepted arc is an arc that is opposite to the central angle. So the radian is measure the amount of rotation. The so the amount of rotation can be represented by two ways, by the radian or by the degree. Now, let's talk about here for the circles. Here we have these three circles here. Now, who can tell me what would we call? Diameter. Diameter. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, oh, sorry. I mean like this arc here. What did we call it? Good. 
Core. Semicircle? Semicircle. This is semicircle. So yeah. this is a semicircle. Now, by radian, we have to know that the measure of the semicircle is by. And the measure of the whole of the circle is two by. So if you go back to the unit circle, as we said before, this is if you try to start from the initial side up to the half of the circle, we stopped at by. If you continue it here, to continue the circle, we have, we rotate two by. So a um, semicircle, its measure is one by radians, and the whole of the circle or a full circle, we measure it in two by. Now, let's see here, how can, while I say that it is by or two by, how can I convert 180 to rewrite it as a by radian or two by, we write it as 360. Here we have two ways to convert an radian to degree or a degree to radian. The first one, if you want to convert between degrees to radian, you have to multiply the angle by by over 180. As an example, if we have 90 degree, this 90, I want to rewrite it now as a radian. So what do you have to do? Here, you have to multiply 90 by, by over 180. Now, so to write, to convert a degree to a radian, you have to multiply by, by over 180. In this case, now you have to simplify it. 90 over 90 is one, 180 over 90 is two. So I have now as a by over two. So 90, I can rewrite it in radian as a by over two radian. Now let's see if I have it as by over two, how can I rewrite it in a degree? So if I have it now as by over two, how can I rewrite it in a degree? You have to multiply the radian by 180 over by. In this case, how to remember it here? See that I have it as a radian and I want to cancel by. To cancel by, I have to put by in the denominator. If I want to keep, or I want to bring by, by, I have to put it in the numerator. So here I want to cancel by. To cancel by, I have to put it in the denominator. In this case now, I can cancel by with by. Then simplify, so I can write it now as 90 degree. So sometimes by 180 over by, and the other case by by over 180. Here you just, you have to ask yourself, I want to cancel by, so I have to put it in the numerator. I want to bring by, so I have to put it in the numerator. Is it clear? Yes. 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 Now, let's start with this problem here. Let's find the, the, the degree measure of an angle of negative three by over four. Here now, my angle in radian is negative three by over four. I want now to find its degree measure. You will multiply it by 180 over pi. Exactly. You have to multiply it by 180 over pi. Why? In order to cancel by. Because by. Exactly. So by cancel by. Then let's simplify it. Four over two is two. 180 over two is 90. Two over one is two. 90 over two is 45. So now we have it as negative three times 45, which is one negative 135 degree. So negative three by over four in radians equals negative 135 in degrees.
Is it clear? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Now let's have it here as a degree, and we want to find it as a radian. Twenty-seven degree. I want now to rewrite it as a radian. Here, without memorizing how to convert it, ask yourself. I want to bring y a by. So to bring by, I have to put it in the numerator. So it's like by over 180 times 27. In this case, you keep by. That's what did I want? I want. So now let's simplify here. 27 over 3 is 9. And 180 over 3 is 60. 9 over 3 is a 3. And 60 over 3 is 20. So, and 3 and 20, now I cannot simplify them. So can I rewrite it as 3 by over 20? Teacher? Yes. Did you can just try 27 by over 180? Yes, I want you now to, to simplify it. Simplify it, okay. simplify it form for the radian. Is it clear? Yes, teacher, thank you. Yeah. Let's now solve these two samples here. Here now we have it as by over two radians. This is in radians. I want now to rewrite it in degree. It's 180 over pi. 180 over pi. So, yes, Rose. By over two in radians. How can you write it in degree? Uh, it's equal uh, 180 over pi, so that we can skip by and pi. So let's multiply by over two by 180 over pi. So let's multiply them now here. By cancel by then. 180 over two. Which okay, is equal 90. Which is 90 degree. Thank you. So by over 2 in radians equal 90 degree. Let's solve now 225. Now let's rewrite 225 in radian. Who can help um, me? Yes, Habiba. Habiba. Yes, Habiba. So we will multiply to 125 by pi over 180. Exactly. Then let's simplify them here. Yeah, 180 over uh, can I say over five. Uh, thirty-six. Thirty-six, and 225 over five. Forty-five. Forty-five. Then. 45 and 36, can I simplify them? No. By nine. Can I say 36 over nine is four and 45 over nine is five. So it's like five, five over five. By over five. Now, look at here, it is five, It is 5 by over 4. We can say it's 5 over 4 times by. So that's mean it is, Anna, since 5 over 4 is greater than 1, so it indicates me that this angle must be greater than 180. And that's correct. By is 180. So here you multiply 180 by a number which is greater than 1 like 1.5 or 1.2. So that's me, it indicates me that my solution is correct because it is a greater than 180, which is 225. But if you have it as three by over four, three over four is less than one. So my angle must be less than 180. 
So, teacher, if it's greater than one, it will be greater than 180. But if yes. it's less, it's less. It's less than 180. Now, let's solve C. And see here, we have two radians. I want now to rewrite it in degree. What can I do? Multiply it by 180 over pi. So let's multiply it by 100. 180 over 2 pi. Wait, here it is in radian. I want to convert it to be as a degree. So oh, I have okay. to multiply it by 180 over pi. So two radians, it's mean 360 over pi. Here I will not tell you two by in radian. No, it's two radians without pi. So yeah, yeah. how to convert radians to a degree by multiplying it by 180 over pi. So two radians, it's 360 over by degree. Now I it want you to solve by a thousand. Is it truly 360 over pi? Yes, two times one. Yeah, okay, I thought the pi will go away because like it should be in degrees. It's a radian. Teacher, if it's a radian, how it's over pi degree? Convert radian to degree. It's yeah, I have pi. So, so it would be the opposite. So it's two pi times it is pi over one hundred eighty. Oh, sorry, so it's pi over ninety. Now I want you to solve D. And didn't, the we answer say that two radians, didn't we say that two radians is 360 degrees? Two by radians, not two radians. Peter, we, we want to convert radian to uh, degree. Peter, we should say two by so that we can skip the by and by. Miss, it's in radian. And it's mean it has when I convert it to a degree, I multiply it by by over 180. Teacher, but we say that to convert the degree to radian, we multiply by pi one over 180. Just a second, please. So I solved correctly, Sosa. You makes me. So I'm sorry, it was confused. And you can well, Miss Dima, if you don't mind, I think they're a little bit confused, like by the words radians. I think it's not clear since they're like you can you can say. I think you can just solve them again, maybe Miss Dima. Dima, maybe that's why. Or you did it correctly, Miss Dima, but I think they are still not getting the radians since they're. Yeah, that's why they make. Oh, I thought that the radian, like when we say two radian, it's two by. No, two radians. It's different than two by radians. Radians here is an measure. It's like degree. Yeah. Like you see, two degree or two radians. Okay, so two degree, it's like two radian. In degree, a radian here is a, is a unit. So this is two radians. I want to rewrite it now in a degree. Is it clear, Grete? No, don't forget, pi is a number, girls. So she, pi is a number. So she's correct. And the radians is just a new unit. It's a unit. OK? So pi is a number. So ultimately, that's a number. That's not a, like pi 360 over pi is a number as well. I'm sorry, Ms. Dima, to no. um, interrupt you. But I feel like the girls 
or not really understanding the word radiant is not that it has to have a pi in it. The word radiant is, a, is just a unit, just like degree is a unit, okay? And pi is a number ultimately. Pi is, is a three point, it's a racial, it's a rational number, right? If I've got yeah. that clear or yeah. not, if it's not clear, tell the teacher it's not clear, okay? Be sure you understand. So if you have it as two by radians, it's different than two radians. It's like both of them, like when you say 45 degree. So your radian is a unit, like meter, like centimeter. So it's a unit. But sometimes you use it as a degree or sometimes as a radian. So here yeah, we right, have right. radian to write it in a degree. So we have to multiply by 180 over by. And in this case, multiply it by 180 over by. But now here we have it as two by. So we can, it's 360. And this one here, we have it as two only. There's no by. So this multiply two times 180 which is 360 over by. So radian as a unit of rotation, measure of rotation. And this by here, it is a 3.1717, so on, oh, 22 over seven, a 3.14. Is it clear now? Yes, teacher, thank you. Teacher? Yes. If it's 360 over pi, why don't you simplify it? How you simplify it? 360 over 3.14, which is the pi. Maya, what is the question asking you to keep it in terms of what? Keep it in terms of pi. They don't want the simplified form. Oh, okay. Okay, so here, as Mrs. Green told you, you have to keep it in, in by. So you can say it is two by, three by over two, uh, six by, by over six, or as a number like 45 degree. In this case here, don't simplify it. Keep it as 30, 360 over by. Yeah, okay. Okay. Now, 150. I want you now to convert 150 to a radian. We want, we will multiply by five over five. Okay, I want to, over please send me your answers in chat. I want to check your understanding, please. Yeah, I'm waiting, 150 as a radian. But for by, write it as PI. Thank you, Sausan, Hanin, Raghat, Yara. I'm waiting the others. Teacher, I send you my answer. I have Rose, Sausan, Hanin, Raghat, and Yara. What are you, Habiba? Teacher, I sent you on WhatsApp. Oh, okay. Thank you. So now 150 as 
Arabia. It is 150. I keep, I want to keep or have buy. So let's multiply it by buy over 180. Then zero cancel zero, five over three is five. 18 over five is uh, over three is six. So it's five by over six. Thank you, Maya. So the answer is for 100 or uh, 150 net degree, you can rewrite it as five by over six. Now, let's come back to the, the main angles, which is 0, 30, 45, 60, 90, 180, 270, and 360. I want now, since we know the sine and the cosine for them, let's now try to rewrite them in radian. We must know them. We must know if I told you by over 6, it is 30. Or by over 3, I mean it is 60. Or by over 2, it's 90. So let's now here convert a degree to radian. Let's start now with the first one. Zero in radian, it is zero. Zero. 30, you have to multiply 30. By over six. Yeah, so here you multiply 30 by 180 by, um, by over 180. Simplify them, you get it as by over six. So 30 is by over six. Now you know how to convert them. I want to rewrite them. 45, it is by over four. 60, it is by over three. 90, it is by over two. 180, it is by. 360, it is two by. And 270, it is a three by over two. So zero by over six. By over six, it is mean, oh, it's mean 30. By over three, it is 60. By over two, it's 90. By, as we know, it is 180. Three by over two, it is the same as 270. And two by, it is 360. So if you have it here as our unit circle, like, We say before, this is zero, this is 90, this is 180, this is 270, and after it's, full, it's finished, it's full rotation, we get it as 360. Let's now rewrite them in radian. It is zero. 90, it is by over two. 180, it is by, because here we will make a semicircle. 30, 360, we make a full of circle, so it's two by. And 270, it's a three by over two. And here we have it as by over three, by over six, sorry. Here, by over three, and here by over four, which is 30, 45, and 60. So if I asked you now, which a word in which quadrant by over three will be? You have to tell me any quadrant. Which one, quadrant? One. Quadrant one. If I told you now, like, um, as an example here, like four by over three, which is here. So in which quadrant? Two. Quadrant two. two. Yeah, yeah, sorry, this is a three by over four. This is in quadrant two. If we have it four by over three, it's in quadrant three, and so on. So here now we have to uh, we can represent our unit circle, but in radian now. We don't say it as 0, 90, 180, 270. No, you have to say it as 0 by over 2 by 3 by over 2 and 2 by. 
This is an other way to represent the unit circle. And tomorrow, inshallah, we are going to find the sign for pi over two. So in your mind, when I told you what is the sign of pi over two, you have to say pi over two, it is the same as 90. So sign 90, which is one. So you will tell me that sign pi over two will be one. Okay, teacher. Okay, now let's solve this question here. And this is in your uh, book, number 37, up to 40. Here we have four by over three, or negative five by over four. What's the time now? I think we have only one minute. So let's solve the first one, four by over three in radians. I want now to see in which quadrant or in which axis this, this angle will be. So let's find it here as, I will see first. In quadrant two? In a circle, just a second rose, please. So this is our unit circle here. Now, four by over three in radians. To, to see the first step, I have to convert it to degree. After that, I want to check in which quadrant we are now. So four by over three, you have to write it in degree. So, and I have to multiply it by 180 over by, in order to cancel by. So it is 240 degree. So 40, 4 by over 3 is the same as 240 degree. Now, let's remember that. What did we say yesterday? This is 0, 90, 180, 270. So where is 240? Is it between 90 and 180 or between 180 and 270? 180 and 270. Yes. So this will be now. 240. So on which quadrant we are now? Three. Quadrant. Exactly. Now, who can tell me number 38? Negative 5 by over 4. Can I? It's one hundred it times one hundred eighty over by, which is equal. Um... Yeah. So then here, let's simplify it now. Four over one is four. Four over one hundred eighty over four is forty-five. So it's five times forty-five. Twenty-five, which is 225. So, so negative <laughs> 5 by over 4 is negative 225 degree. Now, in which quadrant we are now? So we are going through the clockwise. Exactly, because it's minus. Yeah. So, so it will be in quadrant 3, 4, So this is negative. Oh, this is 0, negative 90, negative 180, negative 270, and so on. So it is oh, in the quadrant two. So this is negative 225 degree, which is in the quadrant two. Is it clear? Yes. So let's summarize what did we take yesterday? Did we take uh, today? 